fishing sucks so I figured I'd record a quick little walkthrough of my kayak um, you've probably seen it if you watch my videos before if you follow me on Instagram uh, but this is a uh, 2017 Wilderness Systems uh, Radar 115 um, got it at at Mattis River Company uh, in Virginia one of the probably best kayak stores in Virginia um, so I'm just gonna like walk through it real quick uh, the reason I went with this is, in my opinion, this is the best kayak on the market right now. Add the pedals, you can add the uh, motor drive, you can got mounting options on the back for power poles and stuff. But uh, I did a lot of research before I got it, and this was the best choice for me. So we're going to go through it real quick. Um, the paddle I'm currently using is an Aquabound Manta Ray Hybrid. It's 240 centimeters. Uh, great paddle, very, very lightweight for the price. Um, I'm gonna, one thing I will say, standing this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna definitely get a stand up paddleboard paddle to use uh, with it. So when I'm standing, um, but then moving on, sonar pod, I don't keep anything in the front hatch. If I do, it's like a jacket or something easy that I really don't need to get to. Um, my net, that is a G2, uh, I think it's like, or no, maybe it's not. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, it was like $20 on a, at Academy. It floats. It's like a wading net. It's great. It matches the kayak. Um, sonar pod or flex pod, which I mounted a gear track to, which is where my depth finder was. Uh, and then I decided to move it closer. Um, this right here is my new depth finder. This is a Lowrance Hook 2 7TS, which the TS stands for triple shot, which it has sonar down scan and side scan it's a fantastic unit just got it yesterday it's the first time i've used it i uh, love it so far it's great um well with the seven inch because i like bigger screens i was gonna use, get a nine but that's too much um moving on this hatch i literally just keep a little container with a bunch of random crap in it which is really not that important um little thing you know pockets on the sides with the random stuff in um right here is my soft plastics box and random stuff that needs to be organized better i just keep that under my seat easy to get to uh i need to get a waterproof one clearly um here is my yak attack panfish uh portrait mount that usually is mounted on the back of my black pack uh right there but um I had to go under a low bridge and I couldn't get under it, so I just took it off and I never put it back on because it's raining anyways and it's, it's just a pain. Um, keep my hog trough under my seat. I'm relatively small, so sitting on it doesn't doesn't hurt it any. Um, probably not the best idea, but for now it works. I'm gonna find somewhere to put that. I'm probably gonna do something, make a strap for this or something, but um, Air Pro Max seat, greatest seat ever. Uh, it's comfortable. It's got recline, lower, high. I've never put it in either. Besides, high is the only thing um, I keep it in. So here I have a backpack with just some random stuff. Uh, keep my hair rags in here. Keep my GoPro batteries, GoPro um, cables, you know, chargers, stuff like that. Um, scent, drink, random stuff. Uh, and then I don't really have much mounted to this as of right now but uh i'm going to i'm eventually going to get the pedal drive and i also have an anchor wizard on the way it's going to go right here uh i'm getting that i think tuesday so which by the time this video is out i'll have it installed but stickers on the sides which need to be redone but uh you know enigma swagger hoorag arsenal all my sponsors um then black pack um in here you know, pretty basic. Everybody's seen the inside of a black pack, I'm sure. 
I keep four 3600 tackle boxes, some scent, uh, weights, my scale. Um, that's going to be reorganized and changed out around a little bit. I might even get the wilderness systems packed in a little while. Um, I bring five to six rods. It depends on what I'm doing, what I plan on doing. Right now, I got two cranking rods, a heavy, a spinning rod, and a uh, like medium heavy light flipping rod and stuff. Um, you know, medium light for Ned rigs and stuff right now. Like I said, it depends on what time of year it is and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the rundown of my boat. I'm going to be, like I said, getting an anchor wizard and some other little things here and there. Um, I'm going to probably change the way the camera mount works since it doesn't can't get under the bridge that I need to go under quite often. I'm probably going to move it here and get the extension. So I'll just put it here, get the extension, then can adjust it from there. But yeah, so that's a simple little rundown of my Radar 115. Um, I love it. I highly suggest it if you're in the market for a boat that you want to have for a while, especially because you can get the pedals later. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching.